and one. Okay. So the recording has now begun. Um, oh, that's hot, Shaq. That's really hot. You can burn yourself, Shaq. You're right. I can use a side towel. Okay, so this pot on the stove here, I made some toffee, which is like a caramel. And I was cleaning the pot out with some hot water because I had sugar in there. And the hot water is what melts down the sugar. I'm going to show you a picture of the toffee. Oh, snap. It's beautiful. So here's a picture of our toffee. This was one pound of butter and about 18 ounces of sugar. We put that on the stove on oh, a, a teaspoon, tablespoon, maybe about a teaspoon or a tablespoon of salt. I don't remember which. Uh, we put that onto the stove, the sugar, the butter, and the salt, and we melted it down until the sugar turned to this color. We stirred it uh, continuously. Uh, we cooked that on medium high heat until it got to this cover. We poured it out of the uh, sauteuse pan or sa uh, um, saute pan. Cover your nose, please. Thank you. Um, and it got to this color and now it, can you hear that? It's hardened, okay? So to Thursday, I'm going to take this, I'm going to crack it and um, like that, you see how it cracked? I'm gonna crack it up and I'm going to put it into the uh, food processor to turn it into like a sand. And I'm going to add um, uh, some pecans or pecans, whichever one, either one is correct to pronounce to that. And then we're going to fry the donuts and we're going to make a glaze. Um, usually, usually with stuff like this, you would leave it out, but it's been in my experience that when you leave sugar out like this, you get what? Hey, don't act like you don't know. We're in the South. You get them every, you get them every winter and sometimes every summer. Ants, right? You can get ants. So what I'm going to do is this is cooled down and it's hardened, hardened. So I'm gonna wrap it up and I'm gonna try and get it as airtight as possible because we do not want ants. Let's take this in the fridge and my sugar fridge. Hopefully it doesn't sweat too bad. Put that in the fridge because I, I just don't want to run the risk of getting little sugar ants. Once you get sugar ants, you can kill them off, but they, they tend to be a pet. They tend to be a pet, okay? Um, they're a lot easier to deal with than roaches, definitely. But, you know, I don't want to deal with them at all. Fair enough? Okay. Um, these donuts, the dough has risen a little bit, but not to where I want it to. So what I am going to do is I'm going to roll them out. The donuts, I'm going to roll them out. I'm going to put them onto a sheet pan and I'm going to let them proof in the refrigerator um, over the next, because we're not in school Wednesday, so they'll proof in the refrigerator from Wednesday to Thursday, then Thursday morning, we'll pop them out. Thursday morning, we'll pop them out and um, roll them. I just took them out of the proofer. 
Uh, just took them out of the proofer. I'll show you what the proofer is on the video. Oh, I love this camera. So that big box over there, y'all see that box next to the pizza? Uh, picture of the pizza, yeah. that's the proofer box. So I had the dough in there about 30 minutes. It's almost doubled in size, almost, but not quite. And I wanted to allow this dough, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this dough and I wanna let it proof, uh, continue to ferment and proof in the refrigerator. That's gonna be a slower, longer proof, but it's okay. All right, so, um, yeah, it, it, it raised a little bit, didn't it, Mr. Oliver? And, oh, um, Deshaun, yeah. it got a little bit bigger. Yeah. So it got a little bit bigger, but again, all of that yeast is not uh, completely spent. So we need to get it spent. Uh, So this is bread flour. Oh, the dough is, okay, it's cool. I'm going to lightly flour my surface, lightly, okay. Now I forgot my rolling pin at home. But that's okay, because I got a rolling pin right there. Circular bottle. Put a little flour on that. Does it do the trick? We're going to roll these out to half of an inch. And this is this dough is amazing. Look, I just forgot my rolling pin, guys. And if you don't have a rolling pin at home, you can do this too, okay? So don't, I just forgot my rolling pin, okay? And I really like donuts, y'all like donuts. And Chef wasn't prepared, but we make do. Some of you all might not have a rolling pin at home, right? And you're like, man, Chef said we gotta roll this out, so. This is what you can do, all right? This bottle has never been used. Just wipe it down and you fine, okay? Any questions about that? All right, y'all gonna y'all really care that I'm rolling this out with a um Worcestershire sauce bottle? All right. Is it getting the job done? Okay. So after we're done, I'm gonna wipe this bottle off. Just like such, I'm just gonna wipe the bottle off. I'm gonna put the bottle away and we done. Next time I'll have my rolling pin. Yes. Yes. Come on. 
wherever you want. I don't bite. We don't bite. We friends. We making donuts. Yeah, come on in. <clears throat> okay. So does anybody know why why there are holes in donuts? East? No. Okay, there's holes in donuts so they can cook all the way through. That's it. Okay, so we're going to cut our donuts. We want to take our ring, dip it in some flour, push, push, All right, now if you want to, you could roll this dough out again and make some more. But what happens is the more that you roll this dough, the um, tougher your donuts will get. And this dough is very, very, this, this, this is an amazing dough, guys. I mean, this is just an amazing dough. All right. So these need to proof once again. Uh, these need to proof again. So I want to allow these to proof over uh, in the refrigerator which would slow that process down and then come Thursday morning. All we need to do is um, heat up some oil and fry them and they will be amazing. I think I'm missing one of the, the smaller rings in my uh, cutter set, but it's all good.
And like I said, if I did this again, I would just make sure that I have my rolling pin with me. The donut holes um, also, these need to rock, uh, proof again, and they'll double in size again. And these are these are also cool too, because you can make, you know, you can put powdered sugar on them, you can dip them in chocolate. You can dip them in chocolate. So these are how to get the donut holes, okay? That's your top or munchkins as they call it, oh, munchkins. Okay, so I got these and I'm just gonna place these in the refrigerator. And when we come back Thursday, we'll uh, heat up some oil and we'll fry them up. And then we'll put the, uh, the glaze on top of them and all that good stuff there. And they'll, they'll be absolutely amazing. And the reason why I put the, um, the the paper on top of it is so that they don't get a really yucky film on the top. Um, if you don't have the uh, patty paper, you can use uh, saran wrap, but you loosely put that saran wrap on, okay? So that is it for today. Cover your nose, please. Um, anybody want to take some dough home and fry it? You can. Anyone? Okay. Let's get you a plastic bag. I want to wash my hands really quickly. Oh, I should have done that. Do so much. So when you get home, you have a fry daddy? Yeah. So eat some oil up. Do it with your parents too. Don't, don't go home for a Where did I put it?